fine so last we studied what is a variable and now we are going to study uh, that what are the basic terms of uh, the uh, basic terms of the expressions and uh, how how can different expressions be formed so let's say now see variable can be denoted by anything okay variable can be denoted by x a m n k any alphabet you like is it clear so whenever you are seeing a different type of alphabet in a form of variable see basically you can <laughs> consider this as different color of chair okay different color of chair fine now does it matter that what is the color of the chair no let it be black white pink yellow blue red green whatever it be the function of the chair is to uh, give a support to the whomever whosoever is sitting on the chair right so same is the thing of variable different variables fine so uh, the next topic we are going to study is combining the like terms okay so let's say <coughs> earlier i discussed that there are two apple apple and three oranges can i add them no i will i i won't be able to add them okay so i can if this instead of this let's say apple is a variable okay so let's consider apple as x and orange as y so can i add x and y no because they are not of a same type are you getting my point so here i can write 2x plus 3y means 2 apple plus 3 oranges okay now before that i took an example of uh, let's say two different type number of apples. Let's say there are five apples, five apples, and fifteen apples. Okay. Now, can I add them? So we can say yes. We can easily add them because reason being they are of same type. So let's say I am giving this apple as x. So I will also give this apple as x because apples and apples are same, right? So the variable given to them will be same. So this will become five x plus this will become 15x so 5x plus 15x so here the answer will be 20 apples okay if you are adding 5 apple and 15 apple so here the answer will be 20 x are you getting my point so here we are able to see that we can add add or subtract add or subtract like terms they are called like terms like terms means similar terms okay they are looking same or they are similar terms so we can add it or subtract it fine let's move further and i will see okay so now see if i have written x and now we will uh, leave this behind and we'll move further see i can write it x or i can write x square what is x square x square is basically x times x okay if i write x cube so what is x cube x cube is basically x times x times x x multiplied by x multiplied by x okay so similarly if i write let's say 3 cube or 3 raised to power 3 it will become 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 and it will be equals to 27 if I write minus 1 cube, so it will be minus 1 times minus 1 times minus 1. This is minus 1. Okay? It will become minus 1 because this this sign and this sign will, uh, ne uh, this sign and this will uh, negotiate each other and it will become a plus and this will remain minus 1. Okay. So we can, so the point here to be noted in your notes is we can add and subtract like terms okay we can add and subtract only like terms okay so we study different types of uh, different types of terms which we can see as algebraic expression so let's say if it is given 2 times x square plus y square minus 3 times x plus y into x minus y okay so this is the question and we have to we have to simplify it what we have to do we have to simplify it okay simplify it. fine so what 
here we can do in the name of simplification for that first we need to study what is the bracket multiplication if I have written a plus b into c plus d okay so what will be the multiplication answer so what we'll do here is we'll multiply a with c and a with d with their respective signs that is plus or minus so it will become ac plus ad okay now we'll multiply b with c and b with d so it will become plus bc plus bd okay so here what we can notice here what we can note is that note 2 the earlier one was note 1 note 2 will be note 2 we can multiply we can multiply any variable to each other okay to each other fine so we can multiply see here a is multiplying with c a is multiplying with d b is multiplying with c b is multiplying with d but whenever they are same that is x is multiplying with x then only we can write x square okay if x and y is given then we have to uh, we can't change it we have to let it be in which condition it is given fine so we'll come to the question and the question was 2 into x square plus y square minus let's say minus 3 into x plus y into x minus y okay so first what we'll do is we'll solve both the terms separately and then we'll up and when and then we'll see if it is able to subtract each other or not so what will the first term become so the first term will become see 2 is multiplying to the bracket of x square plus y square so 2 will multiply each with x square also and with y square also so it will become 2x square plus 2y square okay this is the first term minus second term i will change the color of my pen let us let it be green or let's say white now first see here three multiplication are there three is multiplied by the bracket of x plus y and then it is multiplied by the bracket of x minus y okay so what first we'll do is We'll, uh, we'll keep 3 as it is and we will multiply x plus y and x minus y okay so what it will form is see x will be multiplied with x and x will be multiplied with minus y see minus y is there no so first it will form x square because it is multiplying with x then it will form minus x y okay now y will multiply with x and it will form plus y x and again y will multiply with y minus y and it will form minus y square okay now here we are able to see see if i return x y or y x they both are similar if i write 3 times 2 or 2 times 3 they both are same right in similar condition x y or y x they both are same so i can cancel this out because they will nullify each other and here we are left with 3 times x square minus y square and here it was 2x square plus 2y square okay now i can multiply 3 to the both in fact i am not multiplying 3 i am multiplying minus 3 to the both terms okay that we have to check because a minus sign a negative sign is also there in front of you so here i will write as it is 2x square plus 2y square now minus 3 times x square will become minus 3x square now minus 3 times minus y square see minus 3 times minus y square so minus and minus will become a positive number so it will become 3 y square plus okay so it will become plus 3 y square fine now <coughs> further what we can do is see here there is a 2 x square and from that I am subtracting minus 3 x square so you can see that x square is there and from that uh, 1 is 2 and 1 is minus 3 the coefficient coefficient uh, I will explain the term what is coefficient after this question so here the x square has a coefficient of 2 and other x square has a coefficient of minus 3 so it is basically uh, operating like uh, 2 elephant minus 3 elephant so it what will remain minus 1 elephant okay 
now don't say sir minus one elephant is not possible i also know not it is not possible but what if instead of four instead of two there was four or eight or something so it will be a positive so you can just take an analog in here so it will form minus x square now 2y square plus 3y square see these terms 2y square plus 3y square so what will be 2y square plus 3y square it will be 5y square so here we are left with a equation or with a expression 5y square minus x square okay so this is our final answer are you getting my point now uh, speed in a speed we will study what is the coefficient so <laughs> coefficient coefficient of a variable basically what do you mean by coefficient it is a constant term that is a number but with sign okay that is plus or minus with sign sign multiplied with the with the variable okay fine so why are we using the term constant here because the variable will change the value but constant means it is not going to change the value it does not depend upon what is what the x what x is valuing uh, assuming the value and what y is taking or what any other variable is taking okay so therefore the term constant has been used here are you getting my point so this is called coefficient let's say it is written 2x into 3y so it will form see x and y will be separately written here x multiplied by y and 2 times 3 is 6 so here if i ask what is what is coefficient of xy term okay means xy term is there then the answer will be it is equals to 6 are you getting my point if it is written minus 2a into 3 into let's say 4b okay and I ask what is the coefficient of a b so what I will do I will write this a and b separately and I will multiply minus 2 times 4 is minus 8 okay so it is minus 8 times a b so the coefficient will be minus 8 fine so see you in next lecture